Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to use the um, the planes tools in Onshape. They're just a little bit different. It's kind of a <clears throat> rather than having a separate button for all the different types of plane planes that you can do, it's all just under this one menu right here, just this one that says planes. Um, under here, you have a lot of other tools that you've seen in Inventor, but we probably haven't <clears throat> used a whole lot yet. Um, helixes and things like that, but you're still just using this plane option here. Now when you click on it, you're going to get the, the plane menu that comes up here. All of your options are still underneath here. So your simplest one is just your offset plane. That's the one where you click on a face and then you give it a distance of how far away you want to offset it. So that's your pretty, pretty simple one there. Um, that one actually has another option if you right click on, on a face you will get the offset plane feature right there. Um, <clears throat> if you want to do something a little more advanced, like maybe um, like make a plane on an angle, you could do something like this one. So you click on the, the plane first and then you give it a, a line and that lets you rotate that plane by a certain amount. So you can see there it's 30 degrees away from where it was. Now I've got an angled plane. Um, other ones that you've done before, mid planes. So if I click on one face and then I flip it around and I click on the opposite face, you're going to see that plane pops up right in the middle there. Um, and then a few other ones, I think, I think curve plane is going to let me put a, a plane right on top of a curve. Um, I'm not really sure what that one did. Uh, but play around with these. There's different types here. Um, not sure what that curve plane does. Here, maybe that's it. Yeah, I'm not sure what that one's doing. Um, but for sure you can do things like, you know, I can do an offset plane here still and just make it so that I offset it right through that point. Um, and that way, maybe not. Yeah, so it's, it's got some different things, but most of what you can do in Inventor is all here. Um, play around with these different options. Um, Three-point plane is just going to let you pick three points and make a plane through it. Um, normal point is just going to let you pick a point. Um, and then I think... I'm not really sure there. Um, but the ones that you really want the mid planes, the offset planes, that kind of stuff are pretty simple. Mid plane there, offset plane there. Um, line angle will let you make a point around a line. And if you ever want to see any of the, the other ones, how to use some of the other ones, you click on this little help button and it'll pop up. You're using the desktop version. Uh, and so you can go through and look at what does a curve plane do. A curve plane creates a point plane that passes through the point perpendicular to the curve. Uh, you can kind of see what that looks like if you want to play around with those more. Um, but yeah, all the plane tools right in there. And the ones you're going to use are probably offset or mid plane, maybe.